Hello milkers and welcome back to Borderlands 2 100% mission playthrough. Now where are we oh I don't know why it's spawning me here. Whatever. Uh Yeah. Yeah, because the only thing I did in uh this one was um the Sir Hammerlock's Hunt DLC. But uh, we're going to wait to do all those side missions. We'll come back to those because a lot of them are just like... So some of them require me to do way more damage than I'm doing. And I just can't right now until I level up. But um, what we've done so far is we have 100% completed the main game of all of its side missions. Except fighting Terramorphos in normal mode at level 50, which we are nearing, so around level 50, maybe even a little over, we'll go try that. Um, it was then that we shifted on to Pirate's Booty. Unfortunately, I did do it in normal mode, thinking that it would scale, and then at some point uh, when I realized that I was just not getting a whole lot of XP and I was kind of breezing through it and not really having too much of a, a challenge... Uh, I was already too deep at that point, and I really didn't want to do a whole nother hour or two. Which would actually probably be more time, actually. It would probably be like two, three hours at that point compared to the one or two hours. Because, uh, the combat wouldn't roll as smoothly. But, um, so Pirate's Booty, I believe, has an invincible boss we have to go back and face, and I think that's it. And then these are a couple missions in true Vault Hunter mode that we will have to do. And just to be clear, guys, uh, one thing I do want to restate about the series, I'm not beating every mission on every difficulty. I'm just doing one of every single mission, no matter the difficulty. Now, some of them, I do have to access them in higher modes only because I would just breeze through them in the lower modes. So... All right. Oh, yes, and we already did all the head the headhunters. Uh, so th the only things that are left um, in this order is what I'm thinking. Badass Crater of Badassitude is what we're going to start today. And then some other time after we finish Badass Crater. Badass Crater might be a two or three stream, only because uh, these DLCs start to get progressively longer. Uh, just in my opinion. Um... So we'll do Badass Crater, Badass Dude, we'll do the Dragon's Keep of the Tiny Tina's uh, Assault of Dragon's Keep, which is personally my favorite DLC in this. Um, it's at that point that we are then going to jump to the, I, I guess you could call it the epilogue of uh, Borderlands 2, because it technically happens after the... Uh, um, the whole like story of Borderlands 2. So it's kind of like the epilogue, but uh, there's more shit to be um, dealt with it. And then after that, we'll just do one real quick thing of raid on Digistruct Peak. Because, you know. Now, one thing that I really don't want to have happen in between all three of these DLCs, even though it's highly likely. It's the fact that I get too overleveled playing... Like, by the time I get to Dragon's Keep, I might be too overleveled to do this in True Vault Hunter. Probably not. I, I'll probably be able to get through both Campaign of Carnage and the Assault on Dragon's Keep. Uh, both on True Vault Hunter. However, when I transition to Fight for Sanctuary, that might be an issue. However, it is supposed to be after the story mode. So, because here's the thing. Okay, all right, all right, here, all right. Because I don't, ha I don't necessarily have to do the whole entire story to to finish Fight for Sanctuary, because as soon as I click Fight for Sanctuary, uh, from what I remember, they would basically just tell you, uh, "Are you sure you want to start Fight for Sanctuary? It's going to speed up. It's gonna, it's gonna complete the main game. It's gonna put you in the new because the whole map gets revamped, basically." Um, so. We'll see if we can get through all of them in True Vault Hunter. If not, and things start to be, like, gapish, I might have to... Maybe I'll do a special stream or something where I just try to speed run the entire... Uh, 
Borderlands 2 uh, story to try and get to uh, Ultimate Vault Hunter. And then maybe I'll throw it up on speedrun.com so we can have our name up there and then I'll just move on and then finish it up. Because we are, we are definitely in the final stretch. We're in the final leg of the 100% mission. All right, well, without further ado, we are going to be starting the Campaign of Carnage at the Badass Creator of Badassitude. And when all of these start, as you should already know, we're going to get a pretty little cutscene. So let's figure out why we are here. And I forgot, you don't get the cutscene. Oh, okay, uh, never mind, never mind. Listen mouth breathers of the world. This is Patricia Tannis, and I have found another vault. As you may know, the opening of the first vault five years ago triggered a chain reaction that revealed more from Pandora. Boring! You don't want to hear about that, Vault Hunter. You want to hear about loot and packs and explosions. I'm Tori, and I'm here to ask you one question, and one question only. Explosions? Off this echo frequency, you protein guzzling buffoon! I'm trying to convey. That sentence had too many syllables. Apologize. As I was saying, I've discovered that this new vault is buried in the center of a large crater and will only open, and I quote, once the champion of Pandora feeds it the blood of the ultimate coward. We at the Tor Corporation sincerely believe this is fucking awesome. It's so awesome that we're gonna set up a tournament to find us number one badass. If you want in, come to where the vault is buried. In the badass crater of Badassitude! That's not what the area is called! Badass crater of Badassitude! <sighs> Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage. What I was gonna say is, um, Welcome sometimes to the badass the crater of Badassitude, badass! This is Mr. Torg, broadcasting to you from deep orbit. If you're here, that means you wanna win our tournament! Open a vault and earn the title of number one badass. Now, before you get started, you got to digitally sign our legal waiver. So, as I was saying, <laughs> you normally don't get the cutscenes until, uh... Because a lot of times I would spawn in, and then, like, when you move, like, an inch, like, you know, just start to move forward, then you'll get the cutscene. I never knew if you just stood there that you get it, uh, still. Oh, that was strange. Thought I hit it once. Oh, maybe this place is supposed to be like smelly, smelly. Oh, well, I guess not. I was gonna say, maybe all of these things are supposed to be two hit. Alright, so let's get re-familiar with... with Gage. Alright, so... So I have three E-Tech guns, because you can tell by the color of them. They're not just purple, they are E-Tech. Uh, I guess since that's my best shotgun and my best shield, I'll just keep all that. Alright. Yep, we got the elemental effect damage, melee of both. Yep, yep, yep. Might have to bring that up. Uh, shoot out the energy ball. I think that's going to be in two levels because I think one more level we'll be able to get down to that level, you know? Alright. I wonder what's going to happen here. I'm pretty sure that right there, I don't know if it's the specific one, but I'm pretty sure that's a boss. We do fight a blimp in this, which is one of the hardest fucking boss fights in any DLC in Borderlands that I've ever had to face. Because I think you have to primarily get on turns and shoot. I don't think you can just shoot it with your own. Look at my pearlescent runner.
46? Oh yeah, I'm liking that number. That sounds like something that's actually gonna give me a challenge. Alright, pistol, let's see what we got. Let's, oh. Oh, is it seeking? Oh damn, I did not expect it to do that much. Oh no, they're dissipating, so they don't have too much range. Do I have my sniper or anything like that? Oh, the E-Tech guns have like no range! Fuck it. Exterminate! Damn, okay, so my pistol is OP and I don't need that many shots. I what in the hell just happened? One, two, three. What was that, badass raider? Badass! No littering! So Pete's burners, mama's boys. Robot! Mm. I'm enforcers. how big, big the room was. I said use fireball. Fuck. Fireball. Oh, I thought he was gonna burn to a crisp back there. <laughs> with how you handle yourself out there, Vault Hunter. I hear you need a sponsor. And as it so happens, I need a new apprentice. Come find me at the arena. Just follow the succulent scent of success. Piston, what would you say to those who accused you of cheating, of rigging fights to gain your number one ranking? Wow, Jeffrey. Well, I guess I say I'd have to do this. And then I tell them to never call me. Oh, and you can quote me on that. Hey, over here, newbie. So I guess the guy had the mic and, uh, and he was the camera. You are now in the presence of greatness. Here's what Piston's offering, Chickadee. Piston will sponsor you. Piston will take you under his muscly wing, and we will open that vault together. I've already set up your first fight in the arena. Get in there, and show him that Piston and the Vault Hunter are a force to be reckoned with. Is it just me, or does it seem like he's gonna betray the f*** out of you?
I do know that they're over time. We're, we're gonna have to enter this arena like three, four different times for all different uh, missions. I think there's one in the basement. I think there's one up where the people are. There's actually two up where the people are, I believe. And then there's a few missions that you actually fight in the arena. Welcome to my humble now usually, your first match will be against a single opponent. But I thought, eh, instead you're gonna be fighting a few dozen chunks called the Horde of Horrors. Now, I could kick their asses with both pecs tied behind my back. Let's but you don't wanna take it easy. Out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead adventurers. Remember, Alright, so one thing I do want to kind of take a second to explain is the Torg machine. Very pretty. It, it runs and it kind of has its little jack for itself when it starts to run. But um, these basically sell all Torg weapons and as you would see under the weapon, uh, that is not money. These are I, th I think Torg T's or Torg Tokens, I forget what they're called exactly, but, uh, damn, that's really good. Um, but basically, over time, you're going to unlock these tokens, I think just by playing this, or maybe even, like, killing people and dropping, and having them drop it. But, uh, you'll over time collect it as you play this, uh, DLC more and more. And then you'll be able to, uh, buy stuff from the, uh, shop, which are obviously rotating, and there are multiple shops throughout, uh, the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our next combatant has arrived. Does the Vault Hunter have what it takes to survive the appetite for destruction round? I think we all know the answer. Maybe! Wait for the arena to be... Okay. The rules are simple. Use the provided loot and kill everybody. The last fighter standing is a bona fide badass. Go to the center of the arena when you're ready to start. And this is actually where you fight the uh, final boss of the uh, DLC. But it's all cleared out. It's like an open area. I think there might be some boxes for cover. That's about Ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The Horde of Horrors versus the Vault Hunter. Fight! Oh, let's do this. Let's go with the first ball. <laughs> I wish I was the one doing that shake for the camera, but it's not. It's the gun itself. If you aren't, this message is irrelevant. That vault hunter's chewing through waves like a fat kid through a cookie store. Now I want cookies. Here they come. It's the final win. Don't go. Oh my god, what is that? Ah, shit, he's gonna level up. Run, 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 run. Let, let that arena go goliath level up. 
I get mad XP when I kill him after he's leveled up. I wonder if the Arena Goliath is still fighting. What do you mean? What did I do? Okay, so that's the Arena Goliath, so I guess the Arena Goliath hasn't killed anybody yet. I think, I think you can hear the uh, upgrade or if you're not in the fight. Oh, wait, what was that? Was it just me or did, or did anybody else see Super Badass? Oh, there it is. Super badass burner biker. Get ready to feel my okay, so, so the Goliath is still jumping around and punching. Ah, oh, I guess he's dead. Hello, Mr. Super Badass. That grenade, perfect. Sick of, sick of death trap. Boy. to become the number 
found one badass on Pandora. And they ran away, like a little baby. Ran away? This is a travesty! I've got no choice. As the head of the tour tournament, I must officially dump the Vault Hunter a coward! Okay, it's straight up dog time. I know you ain't actually a coward, but f*** that twist and it can make for some good TV. Still, you're gonna need a new sponsor if you want to stay in the tournament. Get to the beatdown! Yep, Moxie's got a bar out here. That's another place that has the uh, shop. Oh, you know what? There is somebody also out here that's pretty shocking. They're back there. Just to give you a clue. Oh shit. So I'll just burn the fire guys, I guess. Burn the burners. I want to beat the You're going down! Help! if I'm able to unlock a shortcut like on the other side if I can like open a gate I can't remember if I can do that I don't think I can I know this area is a little a little sketchy because there's a lot of a lot of buildings a lot of uh, little secret nooks and crannies of course I'll be showing you some the best best way I know how
ammo, reload, reload. Yeah, because I know reloading was going to fuck with my... Or I know opening this was going to fuck with my reload. That's why I wanted to get the full reload off. So... I really like the electrical storms, especially because they're also caused by just killing with crit. But... A little more electrical burn chance, and then the shock electrocution damage. Eh. Might, I might get that shock storm all the way up. Maybe even the evil enchantress up as well before I even... Eh. Increase the damage? Eh. Slide for now. I just saw a figure step out of the friggin' just, like step out of that area and then just the explosion. You're gonna burn! 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 Say me, bitch, fire in the sky, let's talk! Fire walk with me! Fire talk with me! You'll kill Pyro Beats ass at some point! But you gotta wait until you find out where he stashed that sponsor he kidnapped! Otherwise, you can't rise up the leaderboards! I'm only selling the Torg AR because there's a lot more Torg weapons to be found, especially if I find a good good enough one to buy out of the shop. Back here, car. God, bullets. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Get up there, get up there. I can take it. Of the clock. Right on, robot. Yeah, 
then once you get that ricochet, you can get the multiple, the multiple hits off. The scatter shot, I should say. Oh, I thought that guy was gonna be stuck back there. Damn it. But I hit him right in the head, their head just goes like just splat. Let me unlock this part of the map. Might get shot back here. Bam! One fell Did I do any damage with that crit? He's just got a lot of health. Bro. This is Pyro Beach speaking, by the way. Oh, I wanted to. Bye bye. I wanted to jump in and just shotgun him in the head and then have that be that, but. <laughs> 